Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon, and this is Evil Genius. In the last episode, we started to get a little bit further along in the story, and we are starting to research stuff. Uh, my uh, people, Kane and Ivan, are wounded because we had to deal with some Patriot soldiers, but we got out of that without too much damage, and we've got a whole bunch of objects to take a look at here. I know combining the capacitor with the laser gives us the laser tripwire trap, which is useful. Those other two things I don't know, so give me just a second. Okay, the door combines with the, the this, and that turns into a heavy door. And then I don't have anything I can do with the power generator, so I have a feeling no matter which of these I pick, this is going to turn into the centrifuge. So we'll just set it to the heavy impact thingy for now. Um, should be good enough. All right, meanwhile, still struggling to get some cash. Um, we, oh, hey! Oh, never mind, that's the mummy. I was hoping that was the, uh, the, um, uh, the totem pole piece. There we go. That's why I've got these techies over here in Polynesia, because there is a totem pole piece over here as well, but it hasn't popped yet. I think we're, we don't have enough notoriety. Now, the way Evil Genius works, notoriety works in milestones. I have a feeling once we hit number 100 on the notoriety, we'll start to see some more of these things pop up. So before that, we need more missions. Oh, and a reading table. Jeez, we have so many things. All right, alt tabbing for a second. Reading table with the impact stress makes the bookcase. Okay, that's what we need then. Got it. All right, so now we're just playing the waiting game. We just got the laser trip beam, so I'm going to replace our touch pads with that. The advantage with the laser trip beam is that it cannot be dodged. With these pressure pads, if you have a good thief, they can kind of do a little roll dodge over it, and then they won't trip it. But the laser beams are always on. Now, the downside of the laser beams is because they're always on, some of the more intelligent uh, enemy agents can see it, so they can get around it, or they'll just blow it up. Um, which is, of course, a minor issue. But here, if we replace these... Why do you still have your gun? We're in condition green. What are you doing? If we replace these with lasers, this way, whenever anyone breaks in here, they will definitely trip the trap. And we'll set up a chain so we'll trip both of the little pop-ups at the same time. So, come, come on. Laser beam here, and laser beam here. And now we do a little of that, and a little of this. There we go. Now, who the hell is leaving me? He thinks he's leaving me. He's not gonna be leaving me. Unless he leaves me in a body bag. With my little hallway trap, I can't move these pressure pads. Because the way the lasers work, there needs to be a wall on each side where you put the laser. I could drape the laser across this way, but that... That might actually work. Never mind. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll move this over here. We'll delete both of these. I guess I don't need two pop-up traps. Yep, there's my centrifuge. That's what I thought I would get from that one combination. All right, so then I can put the laser trip wire here. Yeah, perfect. And then, because this thing popping up is going to attract anyone who's in the vicinity, so this should work. So we'll just do this and move that there. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work, I'm going to keep telling myself. Now that we have a quarter million dollars, we're going to try a high-risk mission over here. And it's only high-risk because of the number of people I need. I need six guards and three mercenaries. I'm not going to add the techies. Six guards and three mercs. Because I don't want to spike the heat any worse than I'm going to be doing it. So... Okay. The six guards aren't that bad. Um... 
but we're gonna go club some baby seals. Word has it that a groovy young film starlet is taking part in a protect in a protest against the fur industry that is scheduled to take place soon in Alaska. Her presence guarantees that the protest will gain a great deal of media coverage, so this is where an ideal opportunity to hijack the event for our own twisted ends. Send some minions out there to wait in the background until the television cameras are rolling, and club some baby seals. The world should know, should all see this grisly footage and be suitably aghast at how evil we are. Yeah, and we're also going to piss off Patriot and bring in just a crap ton of soldiers, probably. Hi, buddy. Think you're leaving, Mr. Valet? Well, I got news for you. We get a rabbit punch. And apparently a couple karate chops. And then we're going to lock you up until you uh, straighten up. I just noticed we've reached another threshold because our minion capacity is 76 now. So we've got plenty of uh, people coming in. We've almost got a full complement of mercenaries. And our guards are capped at 10 right now. So we're in good shape right now. We just need to keep getting more stuff. Um, I've been lax in that. We need to get some loot. Oh, the whole group is here. Sweet, do it. And what was that? Oh, zoom lens camera. Also, also good. Yeah, we've been slowly research. I keep saying we because I'm used to the Akamura being here when I do these episodes. Um, I have done a bunch of more research to what we need to do. I've also repositioned our evil genius over here because the mercenaries and the soldiers were having some loyalty problems. Um, plus, this lady who's following him, this attractive young redhead, I guess, she's a bodyguard. So if the evil genius becomes attacked at any point, the bodyguard will run over to attack. But the bodyguards are irreplaceable, so we'll, if they go down, we're just done. Kind of like the henchmen. But hopefully we'll not be in a position where our evil genius is getting shot up in the first place. The mercenaries are already proving their value because we only have eight mercenaries on the field and they're not spiking the heat all that much, but they're stealing as much as I think three groups, that is 12 guards. So if we can get some more mercenaries out in the field, we'll be getting a lot of money quickly. We've also got some guys over here. We're trying to get this mission done, the collateral damage, but this jerk is over here. Smash justice. Get out of here, Smash Justice investigator guy. We're not buying whatever you're selling. We're at 125 notoriety, and finally, the totem pieces are starting to appear. So there's one there. Doesn't look like the others are there, but that's, that's fine. At least they're starting to appear. So I need six workers, but I need to get the mercenaries out of freaking Southeast Asia before I do anything there. Um, and meanwhile, I'm just shuffling the mercenaries around. I'm using five at a time uh, in the zones, and they're getting quite a bit of cash as a result. I would prefer using three zones of four instead of... Wait, four zones of three instead of what I'm doing, right? I don't know. Anyway, the math is kind of fun, uh, funky because... Even though all these mercenaries are out here and stealing money, I'm getting big heat spikes as a result, so I have to be very cautious. But we've got 15 of our 17 mercenaries out in the world stealing cash. We're getting $16,000 per minute, much higher than we were getting previously. As long as I keep our heat managed in check and keep these jerks from seeing anything I don't... Oh, God damn it, Ivan. It's those jerks seeing anything I don't want them to see then uh, we're fine. And by the way, yes, I know Ivan's annoying, and I know this entire sequence is stupid, and I don't care, it makes me laugh, so I'm going to do it. Techie, no. No, you are, no. You don't You don't get to leave the, the firm. Guys, could one of you start punching him in the back of the head? Thank you. Come on, Techie. Bap. There we go. We'll get him all uh, re-educated. All right, so we're going to go after the cursed totem pieces once I get the heat to die down a little bit in Anvil, and then we'll be on our way. We need to start doing this. We need to start getting loot so we can get our notoriety up and so I can start, you know, advancing the game. 
Some agents of justice have appeared on the world map, and I think that as you go up in tiers for your soldier minions, I think they last a bit longer against them, so we had a bit more time to react here, and I haven't lost anybody. So we still have 15 mercenaries on the overworld. Still trying to get our heat down an anvil so I can grab that first piece of the totem pole. One of the techies tried to desert, and uh, we got him, but I love how the henchmen carry prisoners. Ivan is just absolutely nonplussed about the weight of this individual. That's also really terrible carrying technique. But Ivan's a man! He's the manliest man who ever manned, so... Wow, he just shit-kicked him while he was unconscious. Good job, Ivan. Yes, that's... that's very impressive. That's your carrying arm. I... I understand how strong you are, you, uh... Ivan? I, Ivan? You don't... Ivan? You, d you don't have to keep... Ivan? Uh, okay, okay. You just... you just do you, buddy. The heat has almost died down for our first attempt to get a totem piece, but we can prep a room for when we get that totem piece. So, and I've kind of built myself into a corner here. Um, well, the room will be temporary, and we are going to be doing... Yeah, I, I guess I'll just do it this way. So we'll, we'll get a cheap room, a corridor. Come on. And then we'll do that. And then we'll put a door here, but I'm going to flag that as a level 3 door once we get this going. So this tiny room is going to contain all of the totem pieces until they are completed and put together because until the totem pieces are together they hurt the minions rather than heal them but then once all four are in the same room they will magically combine into the full totem which will heal all uh, attributes i believe so as long as you have a room that's kind of offset that no one can get into then it's fine uh, we'll unlock the room long enough to put new pieces in there and then destroy this room when it's no longer necessary. We're in a... We're, we're a bit farther along than I think we are as far as the machines, because I forgot that in Island 1, your research machines, you only get these first three. You don't get the rest of these other four machines until you get to Island 2. So we're as far as we can get with research. We're pretty much right at the edge of getting done with Island 1. If I push this harder, I could probably get out of here now. If we just kind of blitz for the loot, but I don't like doing that, so... Um... Oh, there's a scientist. Okay, so scientists are the next level of techies, and scientists are good because, like techies, uh, you don't need as many of them to do the same effect. So we should get this guy. Who else is in red? Alright, so we'll pull the five mercenaries out of there. Smash has no heat whatsoever, so we'll put five mercenaries in the Middle East. There we go. Now we're generating 18k a minute, which is a lot of money. So then once the once Hammer calms down, we'll go after the scientist, and once Anvil calms down, we'll go after the uh, totem piece, although we're pretty much there now. I mean, that amount of heat is basically nothing, so let's go get it. Six workers, but it takes five minutes to execute. So we'll do six workers, five techies, and three mercenaries. Um, so that's going to spike our heat. So we're going to have some medium heat across all of the different uh, agencies. We're going to have medium heat across the world, basically, so we're going to have to watch out. Also, my timer kind of got futzed because I hit the wrong button, so this episode may not be exactly 20 minutes. I don't know where it's going to be, but hey, I, I put out an episode that went a minute and a half short because of some nonsense I had to deal with with that, so who cares? If this episode runs a bit short or a bit long, I don't think anyone's going to mind too much. Uh-oh, we got some soldiers here, I just realized. 
Yeah, this dude's trying to beat the piss out of my, uh, trap. Okay, that's a problem. Come here, Kane. I heard that because I saw that something got destroyed over here. So we also need to get Ivan involved. This guy just needs to die. Who is- what the hell? We've got multiple groups of soldiers here? Uh-oh. Yeah, this is a problem. So these soldiers are upset and they will even kill my valets on site. So we need to just get these guys out of here. Is this hammer? Yeah, it's hammer. They're poor soldiers though, so they're not gonna do too much. But if we don't get that handled very quickly, our uh, minion count may go down. And I don't, or our valet count rather. I think we took care of it. Yeah, I think he went down, so we're, we're okay. That could have been worse, but that it, it really isn't that bad. Ooh, I just lost a bunch of people on the world map. Pause, hide. Uh, oof, hide, and hide, and it's gonna take me a minute to restore those numbers. Okay, do that. Yeah, we're gonna have to be real cautious now with all these people who are coming in. I may, if the heat ever gets too bad, there are times when I just pull the, pull everybody back from the world map. Guys, could, could one of you, <laughs> all right, well, now he's stunned so we can escort him to the prison cell. Anyway, um, if the heat ever gets too bad, sometimes I just pull all my guys off the world map, have them hang out in the base for a few minutes until things calm down, and then let them go get back to work. But right now we're all right, it looks like. We just, things got a little dicey for a second. We're okay, though. One of the things I definitely need to do is set up a stamina regenerator in this room because when mercenaries or any military minions train, their stamina gets trashed. You can see it here. This mercenary was one down to 10. Um, it's really hard to keep training for mercenary, so I need to be careful with that. Okay, this is a level two door? Okay, so now I have to find where that piece is being made. There it is. So, yep, it's immediately hurting everybody's loyalty. So we need to move this piece of the totem over to this room where it doesn't hurt anybody. I read somewhere that if you put the stuff in a freezer, then it doesn't reduce loyalty or it, it doesn't like any bad effects are are neutralized i don't know if that's true i think i tested that in one of my runs and it turned out to at least not work for me so i just prefer putting the pieces in a corridor way in the back where no one's going to go except henchmen who they never lose their numbers anyway so um yeah all right get over here yeah Alright, yeah, he's starting to get a little tired. Just a little tired, though, but still need to get some sort of something set up over here. I think one of the uber loots helps restore stamina, but I don't know which one it is. So I'm gonna just have to get them all, which I wanted to do anyway. Oh, God. Okay, we got that. So everyone pull back from, from Polynesia. We've got a, a totem in there. Jeez, man, like... I still only have the one revealed. I have the location of all four of the totem pieces. There's one in Central Russia, which is here. There's one in the Middle East, which is here. And then there's one in the West Coast, which is here. And I don't have any of those missions lit up yet for the totem pieces. I don't know if I need more stuff. Like, if I need more notoriety or what. So, man. Well, I'm, I've got to pick a... Th I've got to pick a thing to do... So, we're gonna go after this scientist. So I need four workers and a techie, but we'll throw in five techies and a couple mercs, and uh, we'll get that scientist. So I think we're coming up on the end of the episode. I think we're about 20 minutes in, maybe even a bit long, longer than that. So uh, I'm going to call it here, 
and hopefully in the next episode we get a little bit further around in the story. So thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode. Thank you.